Well, the big question is, was it the right decision to downsize and move into the city centre? Yes, it was. It was 100% the right decision. And in this video, I will share the reasons why, the benefits of living in the city, and the things that we can now do that we live in the city that we couldn't do when we lived in the countryside. Here's a sign which takes you up to the ancient hall of the Merchant Tailors, which I've featured in one of my previous videos. But today, we're gonna to go in a completely different direction as we talk about all things retirement. And just round the corner from here, just a hundred yards from my house, is my local pub. So guys, how about that for a pub? The Black Swan. So why am I such a big fan of living in the city centre? and in particular in this lovely city? Well, the first reason is health, and more particularly, fitness. When I moved into this property, I weighed somewhere in the region of about 16 and a half stone, and uh, the property has got four flights of stairs, four stories. I've been doing quite a few steps going up and down those flights of stairs, and it's definitely improved my health. The other thing is, walking around York. I'm covering at least six or 7,000 steps a day just by normal daily activities. So walking around York has definitely been a good thing. It's made me incredibly fit and my weight has actually fallen to 13 stone 11 at the last weigh-in. And that's without particularly going to the gym, although I am a regular gym goer, I'll admit, but I don't do any cardio or anything like that. I just lift weights. Um, my cardio is purely walking. So that's been the first big benefit. Health and fitness has definitely increased as a result of the step count, walking around York on a regular basis and going to all the favourite places that uh, I like in the city, which I'll be sharing with you shortly. Before we talk about that, I'm just coming to the end of the street. I'll show you what's at the end of the street here. So at the end of the street, we've got one of the many churches that are in York, but this particular one isn't a church anymore. It's actually called the Dig, because underneath it they found Viking remains and they're excavating under there. So a lot of school kids come and have a look at this, the York Dig, which is in this ancient church. But the thing about this church is the people who actually built my house in the 1760s, they're in the graveyard under some gravestones. So there you go. So I haven't actually left my street yet. We've got another impressive building. This one is the Central Methodist Church. Another benefit of moving into the city centre is also health related, is that my diet has improved enormously. Even before I realised I had gallbladder problems, I was eating a lot healthier. And the reason for that is everything is on my doorstep. My wife and I tend to buy fresh food pretty much every day. A visit to the supermarket is not something we do once a week. We just nip to the local shops and buy fresh fruit and veg and meat and cook as we go along. And that's made a great difference to my diet and to my health. So we've just come to the end of the street, crossed over the road, and we're now into Fosgate, which has got quite a unique pub. And it's just this one here on the right, which is called the Bluebell. And what's special about the Bluebell is that it's a grade two listed public house. The interior of the property is actually grade two listed. Now the next big benefit of living in the city, as can be evidenced by all the noise and commotion that you'll hear as I walk down this street is that it's full of pubs, cafes and restaurants. So eating out has become a regular thing, more so than when I lived in the countryside. We went out once a week, I think, when we lived in the countryside, maybe drove to a pub. Now, if we don't feel like cooking, we just nip out and there's something on our doorstep. It doesn't matter what we fancy, Chinese, Thai, Japanese, Italian, all our favourite foods and even traditional English pub food. There's more than enough choice in York. Now on the subject of going out, the other thing that's been a big benefit of living in the city centre is that we're regularly going to the theatre and to the cinema. York is, again, blessed in that regard. There's three entertaining venues. There's the Theatre Royal, the Grand Opera House, and the Barbican, and there are two cinemas. Back in the day when we lived in the countryside, we very rarely went to the theatre or the cinema but now it's a regular thing. We just walk out of our door and 200, 300 yards away, and we're on the doorsteps of the theater. So as I'm walking around New York and I'm reflecting on the things that I've been telling you guys, I've come to realize that they're nearly all 
have got something to do with health and well-being and I guess that would sum up the massive benefit of moving into the city. My health has improved both physical and mental. I get out more, I cook more meals using fresh ingredients, I exercise more. It's just been a huge leap forward for my health and well-being. So life in the city is just a lot healthier and a lot more convenient. But I guess you don't have to live in the city to get that. You can downsize into a smaller property in the countryside and there would be benefits with that. But my wife and I decided that we didn't want to do that. We'd lived in the countryside most of our life in small villages in Yorkshire. So we decided it was time to move into the city and experience city life. And it has not been a disappointment. It's been absolutely fantastic. We've loved every minute of it and we are loving every minute of it. I was worried that my wife would miss her garden. We had quite a decent sized garden at our last property. She also had a greenhouse and vegetable plot and all those sort of things. And I did worry that she might miss those things, but she hasn't done. At least she says she hasn't done. And I think it's because she hasn't had time to miss them. There has just been so much to do, so many things that you can do living in the city centre, especially in this beautiful city of York. Thanks for joining me on this mini tour of York. I'm off for a pint now and to watch my favourite football team. See you in the next video.